Hello, just thought I would do an introductory view of how it is that you attach a follow me bike to a full size bicycle so that you can carry a child's bike on the back. Um, the whole contraption is actually quite simple once it's on and it's a good piece of engineering. Uh, it's very well constructed and made of good quality steel uh, and metal. Um, there's been a few things about some rusting that takes place and the, the manual does actually say that you should put some anti-rust liquid on it um, occasionally as well or just some spray um, as part of a, a regular service program. Um, but what you'll do is, I'll just talk through the kind of the main mechanics of how it is that it goes on the bike now that I've done it. Some people say that it takes a really long time to do, some people seem to say it takes a short time to do. It probably took me about an hour to get it all on, um, both on my bike and, and the small bike. And it wasn't necessarily due to it being complicated, just a, a few niggles along the way. Um, the first thing that you do is you actually just replace your spindle um, in the back. So if you have a quick release one, you just slide it out and you replace it with this one that they provide with it, um, which just goes right in, make it tight. And then this follow me clip just goes right on the side. And all you do is tighten up the bolts on the inside and it's, it's attached. That's actually pretty much everything that you need to do to get it on. The only other thing that you need to do for your own bike is attach the strap up here at the top, and this can either be right on the back or you can stick it underneath um, your saddle if you don't have a, um, a rear pannier rack. Um, and all this is for is that you have a little hook here at the end, uh, which is where you pull it all together when you're not um, using it. The other thing that you need to attach is going to be on the child's bike, and there's just one part, which is this little hook. And this is going to be what keeps the, um, the bike connected to it and also with the, the front tire raised off the ground. So it works quite well in the end, but it's, uh, this was a, a major pain. Um, what they've done is they've provided this steel strap here, which is, they, they put in the picture as being just use some tin clippers and you'll be able to cut through it. I couldn't do that. I had to go to my neighbor who is a builder um, to get something that they had and, and they didn't even have something that was strong enough. Um, in their immediate toolbox anyway to take care of it. They were gonna have to get something else So I ended up having to take it to a bike shop that had to use a hacksaw um, To cut through it. So this is not something that you can actually um, Just throw on the bike which was uh, a bit vexing as well the, the the other big challenge to it was that it's it's metal So when you're trying to find out how much of it you need to cut off um, because it does need to be very precise because the, you can't have anything left over here because this bit really needs to be as, as tight as it can because this is, again, what's holding up the actual bike. Um, so bending it over to measure it to make sure that you're cutting off the right amount um, is also quite critical and can be a, a bit difficult. So that's how you attach them to the bike. So once you want to take it off, all you do is you unhook this from the hook and it slides down. Once it's on the ground, you've got a safety pin that's here, which keeps the, the whole thing together. Take it out, slide it up there, bring what was connected to the saddle down, and there's a little hole that's right here where you now take a safety pin and put it through, and then lock it together. That's now mostly down. The only other adjustment that you need to do is making sure that when you put the front tire in, that it's lined up right here. Now in the manual they say that you should mark this with a pen. I, I don't like doing that so all I did is take some chalk which surprise surprise when you're in a house with children you should have plenty lying about to mark where you need it to be. And all you want to do is align up the center hole here um, with wherever the um, child's bike is going to hit here. And that does actually bring me to actually the, the third thing which I didn't say had to be added but you do which is replacing the front Tire quick release um, with these little guys here um, uh, to knock over the child's bike. Um, this is what's going to keep the the bike in place. Um, it would, so obviously, if you don't have any, if you're just using a normal quick release or bolts, um, then you you can't actually fit this into the to the rig. Now it does come with these as attachments. However, for an Isla bike or another bike um, that is a quick release like this one. Um, you do need to get this accessory um, to go with it, which is only slightly annoying, um, but it's easy enough to fit. It's just a, a little bit of an extra expense um, when getting a, a, an already quite expensive um, attachment to the bike, but it is, it is good quality and it has worked well. So I'm just going to pause here and 
move the bike over to, to the pump. Okay, so I've now put the bike in its starting position, uh, which is where you put the front tire in where you've aligned it. It's gone right into this little notch here, uh, which is again lined up so that the front tire is just coming up to that bit there. And then all we're going to do is you just lift up the bike, you loosen up these nodules here, which are going to um, also go against to just tighten up the bolts, and we're going to put this bit right inside there. And that's going to lift up the front tire about seven centimeters or so, in this case, to, to lift it off the ground. So, um, I don't know if I can do this while holding the bike, but you can see it's a telescopic arm, so it goes up, back, and then it just sits, oops, uh, there. obviously if you've got two hands it's a bit better. That's loose, so you tighten up the bolt there to lock onto it. Then you tighten up the two bits on the telescopic arm, like so. And you now have the bike fully attached. So once you have it all together, it only takes um, maybe 20 seconds or so to, to put the whole rig together. Um, but now what you have is a bike where you can transport a small one on the back with their own bicycle. And when they get to a spot where you're away from crowded roads um, or in the countryside, they can detach right on their own. And when they get tired, you just hook them up and they can continue cycling on the back. So that's the follow me. I'm, I still have no idea why companies who make these nice inventions aren't so kind enough or have the foresight to just put together a very simple video to show you how this stuff comes together. Um, but again, I got this yesterday. I couldn't actually get this all put together today because I couldn't cut um, this silly little metal strap here. So if you are planning on doing this, either make sure that you have the tools to be able to cut through metal um, at home, which maybe other households have that as a standard stock, but I would use that probably once, which would be just for this, and then never again. Um, so, uh, if not, you can go to a bike shop and they'll probably have something that can cut it and you just need to make sure that you mark it out so that it goes on right um, as well. But other than that, it's, it, it goes well, it, it fits, it's secure. We've already taken on a few test rides um, and it's all been all right. And the, one of the other benefits about this is it's because it's so uh, stable. Uh, it's quite comfortable going both over potholes if you go through that or, or just driving through the city. Um, but also, because it's not attached to the saddle, you can get a um, another bike seat on if you have a smaller child um, that needs to go as well. So now you can transport two children relatively easily, and the smaller one can, or sorry, the bigger one can detach their bike and go around. So that's uh, that's yeah how you put it all together. Hope, hope that's helpful for other people.